Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Bumblebee, Arizona. We are in the Bradshaw Mountains today, and the main goal for this trip is to get to the snow. Over the past weekend, a little bit of a snowstorm blew through northern Arizona, dropped quite a few inches, and we will be looking to get up into the snow today. So, uh, out with my dad today in the Jeep, we are just airing down right now on the side of Crown King Road, and we'll basically be climbing until we get to the snow. So, the goal is to take the front way to Crown King, stop for you know a little bit of breakfast in downtown Crown King, and then continue climbing all the way up to about 7,600 feet to the lookout on top of Towers Mountain. So we've done the trail before, um, very scenic uh, once you get past Crown King, get some really nice views of the Southern Bradshaws, Lake Pleasant, the Phoenix metro area. We're not doing the back way to Crown King today mainly because it is a little bit more difficult and with all the snow and ice, I'm not sure how, um, how safe that's going to be. But uh, we've done it in the past and we'll do it again someday, but just looking today to do a nice, easy, fun adventure up to the snow. Hope you stick along for the ride. Should be quite a bit of fun for us. We are going to get underway here and see what we can find. So we are just past Cleeter, Arizona now, about halfway up to Crown King at about the 15 mile marker of the 26 mile that is the Crown King. And we're just stopping here to take a look at the DeSoto Mine. Way up on that mountainside is the ruins of the DeSoto Mine. We've been up there before, we're not going to go up there today, but just taking advantage of this viewpoint here. And the DeSoto Mine was fairly active during the heyday of Crown King and when uh, the railroad actually ran from Cleeter all the way up to Crown King along the same road that we're now on. So the DeSoto mine actually had an aerial tramway that delivered the ore from the mine up on the mountain there to this railroad siding called Midway. A little bit of cool history, people passing by every day probably don't realize that this was uh, at once an important railroad stop on the way to Crown King. Finally getting to see a little bit of snow on the ground and on the surrounding hill, so we are getting a little bit closer to our goal. Still hoping that Crown King has some snow on the ground. So we're going to get back underway, but just wanted to stop and take a little break here, talk about the history of the trail and of the area. So we're going to get back underway, and we should be in Crown King pretty soon. Alright, so we are rolling into downtown Crown King now. Definitely one of my favorite places up here in the Bradshaw Mountains. And there is a little bit of snow left over. A little bit less than I was hoping for, but we're just going to roll into downtown Crown King. And we're just going to grab some breakfast at the Prospector Mall. Take a quick little break and then we will resume our climb up to Towers Mountain here pretty soon. The elevation of Crown King is right about a mile high. We're just under 6,000 feet now. And we've got another oh, 1,500 feet or so to climb. So there's a good chance that there is some more snow. So we're going to grab some uh, delicious breakfast and then uh, we'll be back on the, on the trail. So we just finished up a great breakfast of biscuits and gravy and some apple with smoked bacon, but it is time now to get back on the trail. This is not what we came here for, we came to get in the snow. And we are now on Towers Mountain Trail. It forms a loop that climbs up to Towers Mountain and then that continues on back down to Crown King. We should be up there all oh, within the next 15 minutes or so. The trail is pretty much uphill the entire way. It climbs through a residential area and then it continues a pretty rapid climb all the way up into the communication towers and everything that sits on the appropriately named Towers Mountain. So we should be up there soon. That is where the next update will be from. So we're going to continue on up the trail.
Well, we have made it. We are at the tippity top of Towers Mountain now. Just a hair over 7,600 feet and pretty much the tallest point in the southern Bradshaws. That is why all these communication towers from various companies and uh, government agencies are up here. So, incredible view looking south. You can see Lake Pleasant in the distance and then beyond that is the very hazy Phoenix metro area but uh, with the keen eye you can make out some landmarks Cardinal Stadium downtown Phoenix all probably about 75 miles away we've climbed quite a lot since we left our house we've climbed about 7,000 feet almost and uh, we found snow which is really the ultimate goal not as much snow as we've seen up here before but Still a good couple inches, maybe three or four inches at best. A few places on the trail on the way up, we were actually the first ones since the snow to be up here, so we were breaking, uh, breaking trail part of the way up. So not a problem, uh, tossed the Jeep in four wheel drive, just took it nice and slow and we made it up here to this great view and pretty much the goal for today was to just have fun in the snow a little bit, do a little bit of rare snow wheeling and take advantage of these uh, great views. So once we're done uh, looking around up here, we are gonna head back down to Crown King and then head back down to a Bumblebee. But it was a, a fun trip today, got the opportunity to spend half the day out. Uh, on the on the dirt trails which you can't complain when you have a day like that the road up to Towers Mountain I would definitely recommend high clearance four-wheel drive especially this time of year and if there is a lot of snow you know you do want to be a little bit extra careful so we're gonna head back down to Bumblebee uh, really not a whole lot to see and talk about so we'll probably update from right before pavement when we are airing back up All right, so we are back down in the desert. Uh, no more snow on the ground. The road in was extremely bumpy, lots of washboards, but nothing difficult. And we are airing back up before we jump back on I-17. We are just a few miles away right now. So overall, it was a really good day. We climbed all the way up to 7,600 feet in the beautiful lookout on top of Towers Mountain. And we got to play in the snow a little bit, which is always fun. So we don't get that opportunity very much, which is why we wanted to do it today before it all melts. So appreciate you tagging along on this adventure. A very cool trip today. Thank you for watching once again, and we will see you on the next adventure.